Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's find a way to find the line voltages. And before we begin to find the line voltages, we need to understand what those really are. So let's say we take a voltmeter and we measure the voltage between terminal A and terminal B, or between terminal B and terminal C, and between terminal C and back to terminal A. Those are what we call the line voltages, the voltages between the terminals on the source of the generator. And so the way to do that is to realize, well, if I'm going to find the voltage from A to B, I add the voltage from A to N plus the voltage from N to B. So here I have that. The voltage from A to B is equal to the voltage of A to N plus the voltage from N to B, which is the same as the negative of the voltage of B to N, because I know what that is. And so I'm going to add the phase voltage at a zero degree angle and subtract from that the phase, the phase voltage at a minus 120 degree angle. When I take a look at my phase diagram right here and I see the three phase voltages, I can then subtract the one from the other. This is VA sub N. I subtract from that VB sub N. And so I end up with the real imaginary part in this format, which then equates to the square root of three at an angle of 30 degrees. Now, to do that, I let the phase voltage be equal to 1 for simplicity purposes, so we don't have to have v sub, uh, the phase voltage everywhere. So whatever the phase voltage is, we have to multiply the times the square root of the 3 at an angle of 30 degrees to get the voltage difference between A and B. So we simply take this result and multiply that times the phase voltage. We can do the same from B to C. It would be the voltage from B to N plus the voltage from N to C. So I take the voltage from B to N, and the voltage from N to C, of course, that's the same as the negative of the voltage of C to N. Again, based upon our phase diagram, I have the voltage of BN and the voltage of CN. So I take the voltage BN and subtract from that the voltage CN, which gives me 0 minus J times the square root of 3. Again, the magnitude is the square root of 3 times the phase voltage at an angle of minus 90 degrees. And finally, I find the voltage between C and A, which is equal to the voltage of C to N plus the voltage of N to A. In other words, I take CN plus V and A, which is the voltage of CN minus the voltage of A to N. I simply reverse that, just as before, which means I take, based upon my phase diagram, I take the voltage CN and subtract the voltage AN from that. So over here, the voltage CN minus the voltage AN is equal to this. If I work this out, I get the magnitude of square root of 3 at a phase angle of minus 210 degrees. Again, I let the phase voltage be equal to 1 for simplicity. Now, if I go ahead and draw these three phase angles or these phase voltages on here, the line voltages as we call them, I went up with this one right here. So this one right here would be volt AB. This one right here would be volt, uh, that would be BC, volt BC. And then this one right here, let's see here, that is uh, 60, that's 90, that's 120. So that would be right here. Yes, right here. That would be voltage CA. All right, notice that voltage AB has a 30 degree phase angle ahead of voltage AN. Voltage BC has a 30 degree phase angle ahead of BN. And voltage CA has a 30 degree phase angle ahead of voltage CN. And the magnitude of each of them is the square root of 3 times the magnitude of VAN, VBN, and VCN. So you can see that the magnitude is the square root of 3 times the phase voltage at these various angles for what we call the line voltages. So when I measure the voltage between any of the two terminals, I will end up with the square root of 3 times the phase voltage at the angle that we have calculated. That's an interesting thing to note. Again, if we add up all those voltages, they will again add up to zero if the system is perfectly balanced. But that is how we find the line voltages of a YY system.